Opening the MSI Stealth is not exactly trivial, but it's not too difficult either. Keep in mind that the central screw might be hidden under a small warranty sticker, and breaking it may void your laptop's warranty. First, remove the seven screws located on the bottom of the laptop. The two screws near the trackpad are angled, so you must be careful and hold the screwdriver at the same angle to avoid damaging them or the laptop's casing. You will need only a plastic pry tool and a Phillips PH0 screwdriver. Flip the laptop over and using the pry tool, start gently prying the panel open near the stealth label. Continue along the sides of the keyboard then the bottom edge and finally the opposite side. Carefully separate the panels and remove the bottom panel. Before proceeding, it's a good idea to disconnect the battery by unplugging its connector. If you want to completely remove the battery, you'll need to unscrew four additional screws. The battery has a capacity of 99.99 watt-hours, which is just below the airline limit of 100 watt-hours, the maximum allowed capacity for electronic devices on board aircraft. The SSD has a protective cover, and underneath it, there's a thermal pad. The MSI Stealth has two SSD slots in total, supporting PCI Express Generation 4 drives. The SSD model in our configuration is the Micron 2500 NVMe. You can find detailed performance results and additional tests in our comprehensive review linked below the video. Unfortunately, the LPDDR5X7500 RAM is soldered onto the motherboard and cannot be upgraded. After you've finished upgrading or servicing the laptop, remember to reconnect the battery connector and securely tighten all screws back into place. Check out our detailed review on LaptopMedia.com to learn everything you need to know about the MSI Stealth. See if it's worth buying and discover the best available prices. Thanks for being with us and have a nice day.